everyone, it's Hunter and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, it's so nice to meet you. Today I am sharing with you guys my lack of control and I spent a lot of money on books this month but I also saved a lot of money based on how much I spent on each book. So I'm gonna show you the book I bought, tell you if I've read it or not, and I'm gonna share with you the price that I paid for the book and how much it would have been if I paid for it retail. I'll give you the overall total at the end of this video. So with that being said, please subscribe to my channel to help me recuperate the cost of these books and also to support me and love me and please watch the ads so that I can pay for these books. Thanks. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So these are in no order at all. I'm going to show you the first two because these are in order, but I got two books from the publishers actually. So I paid zero dollars for both of these. Um, the first one is Six Days in Rome by Francesca Giacco and I actually have already read this. I read it as an advanced reader's copy in an ebook form and the publisher sent it to me. I'm so excited because this cover is beautiful. I loved this book. I thought it was really good. I did only give it four stars, but that's not saying a lot um, because I'm a very generous uh, person when it comes to my, what's it called? When it comes to my ratings, but this book, I just had really long chapters, which is why I gave it four stars instead of five, but I thought it was really good. I really enjoyed it. So I'm super happy to have a copy of this. And as much as I hate reading hardbacks, I love having hardbacks on my shelf. So I'm very excited about this one. And oh, I guess I should tell you the retail price. The retail price is $28. And then the next one from the publisher is this one called With Prejudice by Robin Guero, I think is how you pronounce it. And the little blurb at the bottom says Robin Puguero has written a modern day 12 Angry Men, if you guys have seen that movie. Um, so I'm super excited about trying this as well. I know I requested this one from the, they like sent me a list of books to choose from. So I chose this one and I'm very excited to give it a go. It looks very interesting. I love thrillers. So this is something I'm super into. And this was also originally $28. Um, they're both from Grand Central Publishing and they're from the Hatchet Book Group. So thank you to the Hatchet Book Group for sending these to me. Very happy with that. So now, where do I begin? Um, I said that this wasn't going to be in any particular order, but I guess I want to separate it by like where I bought them from so that I can explain the pricing to you, I guess. Okay, so the only book that I paid full price for this month was a paperback copy of Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I absolutely adore this book. It is one of my favorite books, um, top five books of all time, and I was waiting for the paperback to come out, and I decided to get this one from an independent bookstore so that I could support local, and I paid $18 plus tax for this. It was like 19 something after tax, but the retail price is $18. I paid $18, the only book I paid full price for. So we're happy about that. So now I'm going to share the books that I got from a secondhand bookstore. It's called Second and Charles. They have a bunch of books there that are full price that are brand new, but they also have used books. What they do is they buy books from people. So you take your books in, they buy them from you. Um, I'm not sure how much they buy them for because I've never sold my books to them before, but because they're used based on the age, how long they've been in the store, um, how popular the book is, the condition of the book and things like that depends on the price that they are in the store. So all of these are used books and I had a 15% off coupon on all used books for that day that I went in the store which was super nice so they were listed at a certain price in the store and then they were 15% off of that so I'm going to share how much I actually paid for them so first let's go for these two this is blindsided by Karen Slaughter the cover price is $9.99 it's just a mass market paperback which is why it's so much cheaper but I love Karen Slaughter and I'm trying to own all of her books so I am working on it every time I go to second and Charles they always have a great selection of mass market paperbacks of her books so I grab one or two every time I'm there so I got this one first and this one is blindsided I paid two dollars and 76 cents for this book and the second Karen Slaughter book I have is Triptych which is the first book in the Will Trent series if you guys are familiar with it the cover price on this one is $7.99 this one since it was the first one in that series it is a lot older of a book yeah so the first version of this book came out in 2006 so it is a bit older it's over 20 no it's over 15 years old so it's a pretty old book so that's why this one was so much cheaper um this one is Triptych it I paid two dollars and thirty cents for this. Next is The Kite Runner by Khalid Husseini. My favorite, favorite, favorite book of all time is A Thousand Bl Splendid Sons by the same author. So I wanted to pick up The Kite Runner because the others are just the other one is so good. Um, I paid six. No, I did not pay six dollars for it. It was listed at six dollars, and The Kite Runner I paid five dollars and ten cents for it, and it's listed at fourteen dollars on the back 
so for the retail price. Three more and they are all from Megan Miranda. I'm also trying to get all of her books. So the first one I have here is The House of the Last House Guests and it's listed at $17 and I got it for $5.05. Then we have The Perfect Stranger, which I've already read. I've actually read all of the books I've just showed you except for Prejudice and the two Karen Slaughter books. Oh, The Cat Runner, I haven't read that either. So The Perfect Stranger, I paid $5.05 for as well and it was originally listed at $16. And the last one, arguably her most popular book, is All the Missing Girls and this one was um, also $16 listed on the back but I paid $6.41. So I'm super happy to have those. And next, Target did buy two, get one free. So I definitely took advantage of it. Um, the way that I found the price of how much I paid for it was I figured out how much my, I figured out how much the book was listed online and then figured out like what my discount was after I purchased all of them and then divided that by the number of books that I bought. So I did two different orders. I did an order online and I did an order, not an order, I just bought some in person. So like I bought six books online. So it said I saved like $18 or something so I took that and divided it by six and then took that amount off of each book if that makes sense to figure out how much it cost and I did the same thing for the ones I bought in person so let's just get started so first is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren I've already read this I love it it's listed at $16.99 and I paid $5.37 so that was a steal honestly a steal this was the best deal ever honestly love that also I'm trying to get as many Christina Lauren books that I've read and like I don't want all of them but there are a lot of them that I really really enjoyed so I wanted to grab them. Next is The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. Also read this, love it, it's so cute and it is listed at, it's actually not on the book but I looked on their website and the retail price of it is $16.99 and I paid $6.91. Trying to get all of Beth O'Leary's books as well. Next is this one, it is an absolute gem of a book, it is so good, it is The Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell. It's listed at $17.99 and it is, I paid $6.66 for this book. Next is is The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. Also such a good book. I genuinely loved this so much. It's listed at $17.99 and I paid $9.79. It's also newly on paperback so that's really cool. Next is a hardback because they did not have paperback in person but it is House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. I have not read this book so I'm excited to give it a go. I've seen it in a couple of stores. I know it's YA so it was $18.99 cover price and I paid $8.44 for hardback. That is a steal of a price so I'm excited to read this one. Next is one we all have read and loved. It is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It was $17 retail price and I paid $6.35. Again an absolute steal so I'm trying to get all of Taylor Jenkins Reads books as well. Next are the first two book in a series. It is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson and Good Girl Bad Blood from Holly Jackson. I already have the third book in paper, I mean in hardback, so I wanted to get the hardback copy of these two so that when I put them on my shelf they're all the same size and all that jazz. So they are both originally $17.99 and Good Girl's Guide to Murder was $5.92 and Good Girl Bad Blood was $9.06. No idea why they weren't listed the same online but big fan of these books and I'm excited to have the whole series now especially all in hardback. And the very last book I have to share with you guys is this one. It is Josh and Hazel's Guide to Non-Dating by Christina Lauren. Also a super super cute book and this one was $6.91 but it's originally listed at $16. 99. So let me see how many of these I haven't read. Okay, so out of all the books I just showed you, I've only not read five of them. Um, so with Prejudice hasn't been read, House of Hollow, The Kite Runner, and the two from Karen Slaughter, Triptych, and Blindsided. Um, I'm super excited to read these ones and I'm super excited to have all of these in my collection. These are all books that were on my wish list to buy to add to my personal library. If you guys can't see, we have boxes up here. Um, we are moving soon. Those two white boxes and then these two up here are all full of books and I'm so excited to build my personal library library kind of put it all together and let people see it. Even though I've already read these I'm hoping that I'll go back to them and reread them one day but I just love having books on my shelf that I've already read so that I can show people and people can look at them and just borrow them. I don't know I'm just super excited about having my own personal library so I wanted to share that with you but I did the math and I if I would have bought all of these books say I went to Barnes & Noble and there was no sale going on and nothing was buy one get one 50% off I had no coupons no membership no absolutely nothing if I would have paid the cover price on every single one of these books I would have paid $313.90 before tax but because I got all of these at a discount on sale and because I only paid for one of them full price I spent a total of $110.08 this month on books and that is way more than I should have spent if I'm being honest I really do not need to do 
that again. July is an absolute book banning, absolutely a book buying ban. Not buying any books in July, uh, that's not even a goal. That's like a, you absolutely cannot buy more books. We are about to buy a house. In fact, we're under contract on a house, so I really, really, really need to stop spending money on books. If anybody wants to send me a book, if anybody wants to buy me a book from my book wish list, that would be fabulous. I have my Amazon wish list down below. Um, of course, I'm not saying you have to. I'm just letting you know it's there in case you feel generous. I'm totally kidding. You don't have to do that. I'm just, I'm totally kidding. Please don't do that. That would, that would make me feel so bad. But it's there. It's there. I'm kidding, but I'm not. I'm kidding, but I'm not. Anyway, <laughs> that's all I have for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.